Welcome back to MDS Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to take AWS RDS backup. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in AWS, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just to follow with the on screen instructions, and you're good to go. Taking backups of your Amazon RDS or Relational Database Service instance is crucial because backups ensure that your data is basically protected against loss due to hardware failures, corruption, or accidental deletions. For example, if something goes wrong, you can restore your database to a previous state. Now, for us to be able to do that, I want you to click on the services and go to the database if you haven't already. Okay, and now from here, click on the RDS, which is Manage Relational Database Service. If you haven't created your RDS yet, this is the perfect time for us to explore and create a new one. Okay, this is this step is very important for us to take a backup because I want you to click on the uh, Create Database. And you would be uh, forwarded here to another um, page wherein we're going to... choose a database creation method it's going to be standard easy create but for now let's choose the standard we're not going to deal with any of these because it requires technical expertise but this step is very important for us to be able to do a scheduled backup all right now for now i'm gonna switch uh i'm gonna click on this one i'm gonna put down below down here and create database just wait for it to load. Now, once you have created your database, you have a second option that says automated backups. I want you to click on it. And here we go. Basically, the database that we have created is automatically put in the automated backup. So you don't have to worry. Now, when you click on this database we have created, you see backups and restore in the earliest restorable time all right and of course you can put in some action to restore to point time but the thing is we have already created the backups and restore so you don't have to where every single time you update it's automatically saved and the backups are always there all right and again just you see your database may take a few minutes to launch you can use settings from database to simplify configuration of suggested database and a lot more okay now, once you have uh, seen the uh, database has been created, I want you to click on it. Now, at the bottom, you would be able to see some more information. Now, inside here, I want you to click on the actions and I want you to click on the take a snapshot. All right. And of course, that's going to be the DB instance. All right. Take a snapshot. Of course, you can put in the uh, name. I'm going to put in Andy Guide for now and take a snapshot. This is one of the methods for you to be able to take AWS RDS backup. Take a snapshot. Now, after that, I need you to go to the maintenance and backup section. You see, there's going to be an option that says take a snapshot as well all right it's a lot easier click on that and you would be forwarded there to the same page that we have chosen earlier now the idea is the backup is automated and enabled for the next seven days and the earliest restorable time is august 9 9th 2024 and the tags to snapshots are enabled the backup window is this one all right so we're all set that's how you basically take AWS RDS backup here on this platform. And again, if you encounter any problems taking the RDS backup on this platform, just hover to the upper corner where you can click on the support center, type in and go to the expert help. Of course, you can put in as much just details as you can. And once you click on send, one of the support staff will give you insights and troubleshooting steps if in case you encounter any problems taking the aws rds backup 
Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.